Got us a big old Momo Sweets in here. I don't know if you can see some of the roof line. It's not perfect. I don't think we're going to get it perfect. Looks like it's got a shade of a dip on the other side of that air conditioner. Well, what used to be an air conditioner, we just took them off. What they did, this is what the RV industry does to you. They put the... That's how they bolted the AC down. Right there. And they put that bull cookie right there. Some bull cookie on there to make sure it don't leak. And it usually leaks. Then they screwed it down in the front right here. Just screwed it right through the roof and everything. And that's supposed to keep it watertight. So obviously we're going to change that. So we, uh, we'll redesign the curves. And when I redesign them, they have mountings up inside them after I make them. So then anybody who needs to service it down the road, they don't have to go through all this. That's crazy. They're all trying to get all this out and then try to reseal it. The more you keep trying to drive that bolt down through there, you're just going to waller it out. So we're going to be putting in some plate steel and everything where it'll bolt down inside. Uh, but uh, they painted the shoulder here. We're going to bring the roofing over. The roofing's going to come over. We'll have some tan roofing on here. And uh, got a broken... Got a broken plumbing right there. We got a wine guard antenna. Got this big old satellite dish. Gotta make a big old curve for this too. That takes a while. So, and you got another AC right here, and they do the same thing. You can see how they mounted it right there. That's just, if they know that that was the plan, you would think that somehow that they would have put something else in here. To give it some support in the sense or so, so you could bolt it down you know i mean they know that's how it's going to go on at the factory hey let's do something better and screw it right to the roof i mean that's that's ridiculous because there isn't very much to this sheathing here so but um anyhow like you said we're we're going to see what this sheathing's like anyways we uh, may end up redecking this i'm not sure we'll check out the work order and everything and see what it calls for but uh we'll get another plumbing up here so but uh, that's about us right there. And then you get all the wiring for the satellite dish behind there. So the, uh, these are interesting, I'll tell you, to make. I've made many of them, and they're just time consuming to make the curves to make it look right like it's supposed to be there. So, but uh, that's our mobile suites right now. See, it looks like there's a little bit more hump here, and then it looks like it kind of balances out a little bit there, and then it has a little uprise towards the back. And like I said, that's all gonna be in a truss system here I, I don't think we're going to be able to straighten all that out for sure so the uh but otherwise i mean it'll still sit well it'll still roll on well and still be watertight but i like to point some of that stuff out but uh there's a big coach it's like 42 foot i think it's uh going up past that's the halfway mark of our of our shop which is 100 foot so it's right there at it and i get some catwalk behind here that catwalk's uh, back there is uh, 44 inches, I believe. So, yeah, it's it's about that 42 foot. All right, well, let us get to work. Start making some stuff. Those high dollar mobile suites. There's a plumbing hole. If you look at the beginning of the video, there was a plumbing vent right here. It was right there, and there was one over there too. And uh, no plumbing pipe, no vent pipe. Don't know where it is, but it was leaking because you can see how this insulation is kind of stuck there, got all wet. So now we don't know where the plumbing is, the plumbing vent. That's what we're hunting for. And also, the way they did this air conditioner, they had a truss going right through the center here. This is all they got, and they're bridging it with this. Really, and the problem is because they got this air conditioning duct here. But something, in my opinion, needs to be done to bring that back. So we may have to make a new truss for this. Uh, or, you know, one for this side and that side. That, that's not going to be enough to hold that, I don't think. So it was bouncing pretty good when uh, we were walking on it. And this is just 3 8 And this is a high dollar coach. Everybody asks me, which one's the best? Which one's the best? I'll spend the extra money to get a good one. This is a mobile suite. This thing is just all these trusses. Look at this. Really? None of it's glued. So here you had the piece of decking come in here. The piece of decking came in. 
And then you had sporadic screws. There's one here and about another 20 inches or so. There's a couple of them up in there. And that's it on there. A couple in here. They didn't, and there's no glue on it either. It needs to be glued. It needs to be glued together. That's what is going to absorb some of the shock and the vibration and the twist and the rack and the flex. That's what's going to do it. If it doesn't, it'll tax the screws. So, uh, a bigger thing, where, where's those vents? I need to find those plumbing vents. Uh, there's, like you said, there's another one over there too. There's nothing on that one. There's no, no plumbing. You can see the hole there, but there's no pipe. So now I've got two. So maybe someone put one on accidentally, right? I don't know. But this is this isn't uh, this isn't the way to start today. That's for sure. All right. Well, we're gonna hunt and peck for it. See if we can find it. We may have to. I don't know what to do. We may have to somehow look for it. But we'll keep so you got this two by four. That's running over there. But the air conditioner actually sits here. And when they put these in, I'm gonna see if I can get the camera in there. I can get the camera in there. They got one lousy screw in this thing. That's it. There it is. Whoop, blurred out. Come on back. There it is. There's no other screw in there. No bracing. So. And I'm sure they just probably got one screw on here. And then looking at all this, they just got this little piece of tape on here. <laughs> and this is how they blocked it off. <laughs> There's all your air, your nice cold air coming right through here. Ah, man, that is a shame. That is a shame. So when people ask me, hey, which one's the best? I don't own one. I, you know, I really don't. I don't own one. So the only plus side that I've seen so far, I'm not a fan of these trusses, but um, it's got, that's, a, that's not a, the worst weld I've ever seen. But see right here, that's not welded right there. So when these things rack and twist, can't even see if there's a there's no weld in there either there's not a weld here there's no weld here up on here and there's no weld there and I can't feel one in here so just one is there a tack on the inside that's terrible but that's all these things here you can see how flimsy they are double this one up this one about ready to come out in itself right but like at the plus side is at least they got protection on the wires so far that we can see. Um, that check in there. We got a little bit of wire that's see it come out of that a little bit. See that wire right there? See how it's got that score in it? So now I gotta make sure we get some protection and figure that out when we take the roof off. Because you know what I what I fear is that someone goes down the road, go to a campsite, and then um, they go to, this is a 120 line anyway, so it could short out. But, uh, you know, they start popping breakers, popping everything. Who do you think they're going to call? They're going to call me. They're going to say, hey, Joe, you put a screw through something. You did this, you did that. And this is what we find all the time. This is why we like to open these roofs up. Can you imagine spraying over this? If you sprayed over this, you know, with, with that, uh, what is that, RV armor, flex armor stuff, you don't know what you're getting into. You're not solving any problems. These, are, these problems will come back. Those things are just coatings anyways. We did those on a commercial level. We did coatings. And uh, we bought the machines. We had everything. If it was worth it, I'd buy it and install it. But it's not. That's why I don't do it. It's, it's not a big deal. Just go buy the machine, right? You make your money back. But like I said, they're just uh, not something that I would endorse because there's too much wrong inside these coaches when you open them up. And that's why they'll fail. So what's the sense of putting a coating on this and just going, hey, there you go, okay. You, you, you may not have any leaks right now, but the whole thing's going to start sagging, right? With the air conditioner on them, you're going to see them sagging. You can actually see a slight sag in this one. It's got a slight sag in this. And obviously, we haven't taken all the decking off, so we're going to see what's going on. But see how they got that truss right in the center? That's what they got up there on the first one. And then um, they just got it blocked over. So, and they got it, that bridge blocking going across. And, uh, I think that you should have something a lot more substantial than that. Here's another one of these end butts. See, that's not good tape. There's all your air going out here. And now, the worst part is you're going to have cold air come out of here and your condensation will build up because you got a hot roof and you get condensation built up in there. So, but uh, all right, well, let us keep moving forward and uh, we'll see what we uncover on this big monster.
All right, now what we're doing, pulling all the insulation back, checking the trunk lines. That's what we're looking for. Seeing the trunk lines, like right there. See? You can see that big that gap right there. So we're going to retape that. We'll get that done. And we'll check this too, right here. So we want to check, make sure all that's all set. Now, I did find something out that plumbing that we thought were plumbing that we couldn't find pipe for. Uh, we called uh, Mobile Suites. And uh, they said they were just access. They put them up there so you get access wires, and up in that up in that far corner, uh, there were a couple wires up there for solar, and then uh, they said there was another wires over here for, to get for like satellite. So you would take that plumbing cap off and stuff so you can fish wires around. We don't need all that because they got a satellite over here already. So, but we may end up uh, doing something so in case they did want to do the solar, at least they got the wires up that way. So, um, but uh, that's what we found out. So that's good news. We don't have to look for plumbing. Like I said, all we got is the one that we have, which is right in here somewhere. But otherwise, like I said, we're checking all this. We're going to reinforce this, and uh, we're going to reinforce it with 16-gauge steel. We're going to strap it along right up inside there, and you'll see that afterwards. But that 16-gauge, that's uh, structural steel right there. We're going to bridge it all the way across. I don't want to start getting into another fabrication of trusses or anything. It's not really necessary because the way it spans, and then we're going to use all that framing and pull it all back together with that existing. So that should help us out. So that's about it. It's just a piece of pipe they had in there. That's nothing. That's what they had in the in there for access for these wires and stuff. So other than that, that's us. So uh, checking all the ACs and like I said, all the duct work and everything. We want to make sure it's all tight before we put it together. So all right, onward and upward. All right. So what we did over here, instead of trying to make all new trusses. That's structural grade steel. You can see we glued it all together, screwed all together. But what we did differently is we span this whole piece. That's going to bridge all that weight all the way across. And then we also did it going this way. So now everything is all tight. Plus we're going to put our decking on. Our decking is going to come over here and over here. It's going to be one piece here. There'll be one piece up there. Then we'll, on the, the right and left and throughout the rest of the roof, what we're going to do is just figure out we may have to cut one down to 32 or whatever it is to fit but I want all that strength right there on there now, the other thing I noticed is that these air conditioners why they kept breaking why were they sagging down and popping so you can see we got all new tape on here we went through the whole thing we got all the tape on there this is really again I didn't realize how heavy this is but it's got a little bit of weight that keeps crushing down on it so I said hey let's put some braces up underneath there so we've got braces up there and we glued them in, you can see all the glue right there, glued them all in so they don't bounce around, but it's going to keep that nice and straight. So we don't have that problem breaking again, right? That's what we try to do is, I want to solve these problems, I don't want to just fix it and go, oh, it, it bounced around and like I said, this insulation is actually a little heavier than I figured, for insulation it is. So uh, a couple of the other things that we noticed, we had some wires that were just all jumbled up, so we corrected those wires, had this one here pinching. So we fixed that and rerouted it, took that truss out, and we rerouted it so it wouldn't pinch. And then um, I think I showed that on the other one. We got some lumen here on this one because it wants to turn. So we're just leaving that in there and it's screwed right there. So we want to make sure it can turn without compromising on the back here. And uh, so we got that. So we've got everything pretty much ready to go. These go, these go in. Boom. These go in the uh, air conditioner the little ladder this goes in the air conditioner down there that's what that does so everything else seems to be okay so we've got all the sticks in there had all this jungled up and it was a mess it was all knotted up all these were all twisted up badly so we, you don't want to take this wire especially solid wire like that you want to take that and twist it like they did and uh, so we loosened all that up and straightened it out like it should be you know, like some of the stuff they do on these coaches, they certainly would not pass any building code that I would know of. You know, I'm glad to see they got these plastic pieces in here. You know, they got that. So we put that up underneath there to protect these wires here so they don't scrape and rub against there. So we took our time to kind of go through it. Had another wire, this one. This one here was all up in here. That's a compromised one. So we did a a splice in there we've got a special connector and then we heat shrunk it all together so it isn't going anywhere and then but it was coming around this side and it was actually compromising on the insulation I think I showed that one 
you know so we just want to make sure that everything's right because you know we don't want someone to get down the road after they leave here and they're going to a campground and then pow there goes the electricity right there you go hey you put a screw through something well, this is what it is this is the way they put them together now, that wire could be at its last straw you know so and then uh like you said we got the same here same design and all we do is we're going to stretch and stress all now it's basically you're you're spanning the, the stress load out is what we're doing that's what we did so now we can i feel more comfortable putting that down but that's structural grade steel that, that's how you build with metal framing for exterior walls and uh load bearing walls is that material so it is super strong um so now what we're doing is just trying to get the decking we're going to start putting that on all obviously the insulation will get tucked back in but uh, i feel confident now and i'm comfortable i like the way it looks everything's been addressed and now we can put the roof on and that's the thing you go to some place and go hey i can spray over this well you're not going to fix the wires you're not going to fix the air conditioning duct lines you're not going to have all that done and um, you know if it, if it was worth buying the machine and spraying over these things i'd buy the machine we've had a expensive machines before ones for uh, metal we had our own roll former we bring to the job we roll out our own panels and i also had a uh, recovery machine which is basically the same thing that you're going to get with that coating um but uh those those machines i mean if it was worth it i'd buy it but i don't know what's underneath this and i would hate to just go over it take somebody's money and then they have issues that aren't resolved you know again like structural issues like this so, all right let's get the decking on and get them moving i'm gonna get this ladder up we have got virtually every piece on here now got a couple of sheets up there to fill in way up front and then obviously this piece in the back we took the time to lay all these out because i want to have as maximum strength as i can we put all these in here these are about 10 inches apart and then i want to make sure they're all flush that's what i like to do so i don't have all these dimples in the roof uh, so we get that going and then um what we got over here what i don't like i'm looking at this is the elevation from here to here is not quite the same over there is a lot you can see that mold when they molded that cap <laughs> that's not right still got to get screwed down we can distress it out a little bit but here's my problem if i go and put some screws in here this is just cheap aluminum it's going to pop back up when it pops back up it's going to probably break some caulking loose or something so it's going to be a problem so what we're going to do and also i got to get you know the turn bar around here and that's what i don't want it to I want it to have some solid stock in there so that's what we're looking at right now so more than likely we're going to try and get a, a wood blocker in there and um, I mean it'll have the decking on here which will be good for that but especially in this corner is where it's going to want to be prone maybe not I shouldn't say this corner that corner it would want to be prone to kind of popping loose so what we're going to do these are little things as you're going along and these are going to determine but you can see like this is a lot different than that one down there so that's what i do is i put my straight edge on there i just want to see how bad off but look how high that is that's almost a half inch so we can get it to pull down and it will but it still has all that resistance it's going to want to pop up so we got to get something in there get a good screw in there that's going to hold it and glue it in there so it will stay so what we're going to do i'm going to take these little blocks i'm going to pin these little blocks in there i'll put one here i'm going to reach around i'm going to put another one on the other side so I got two blocks in there, and now that'll hold it. Now when we go through these screws, we won't have to worry about this. See how cheap this aluminum is? This stuff will, well, maybe there's a better one. This stuff will just bend. See how it all, it's cheap. So I don't want it to, to curl up and bend. And it's real thin, so you don't have a lot of bite for a screw in there. See how thin that is? You're not going to have a lot of bite for a screw. So we need to have some, some solid stock in there, you know? We're going to put some testosterone in it, yeah. We'll put that big block right there and put another one on the other side. Oh yeah. Be snapping into a slim jam. Come on. So we got that done. Then like I said, all this is all done. You can see we laid out everything. Lay it out. Do it right. Everything lines up nice and pretty. So it should go. My fancy big curb that I made for that satellite. Good day's work. That is a lot of work to do that because the satellite will be sitting right here. So now what we're doing is just negotiating where our wires will come out. And we got our wires already for the antenna that was over there. And then I think, uh, I think I already told you though, but over here we had a plumbing and it really wasn't plumbing. It was solar. So what we're going to do 
is uh, instead of pulling the wires out, we're going to leave them in there and I'm going to put a little emblem on that will probably have an S on it for solar. So if anybody ever wants to, they could, if they had to drill through the roof, then they could reach down and grab the solar wires. So we're going to do that. And then, uh, but see the difference on this shoulder? That shoulder is nothing like this other one over here compared to the one in the back. And that's what happens. Sometimes these molds, when they don't get cleaned, they, if they don't get cleaned enough, but this is nothing. This our plywood will fit right up underneath there, nice. Down there, we're still a half inch high. So you can see how much closer that one is than the one in the back. So and if they don't start cleaning these molds out, that's why people say, "What size deck are you going to put on?" I don't know. I don't know yet until I start opening some stuff up. This is half inch. This is half inch VC grade plywood, and uh, what we pulled off was three eighths. So this is going to be a lot more solid for sure. And then we, you know, you, we, you see all the glue we used. Well, we slobbered that glue on there. Everything is all glued. Every single joint. We glued everything down there. Glued and screwed. So uh, that's about where we're at right now. Like I said, I, I don't think we may have that problem with this. But if I think so, because, again, we're going to have the decking on there. So that'll help. And it's going to be glued in there. So that'll help on this. It's just that other end. Meaning that when I say it'll help on this, meaning I don't have a worry about the turn bar releasing on here or, or anything because there's no stress trying to pull it up. Where, like I said, down this other end, that was my concern is that it was so out of shape that it may want to distress itself back out and meaning going upwards and pulling something loose. You see, see how big that gap is? That's enormous compared to the other one. That's um. So when you go to pull that down, see it's all molded. So you really got to get some stock in there to pull that together. So like I said, that's what I'm working on right now. Let me uh, get this all figured and then uh, we'll show you more. The next step that we're going to have to do is uh, we go back and we check for, make sure the plywood all laid pretty good. I'm going to put a new shoulder on this as well. Those are my shoulder pieces. But see that little bit? I'm going to sand that down. We're going to have that sanded down right there so it's, it's you know pretty smooth. And then we're going to put a protective strip on it and then we'll have our new shoulders on here those shoulders were so squirrely and those shoulders were just a mess by the time we took them off all the staples they said the heck with it i don't want to do that i want a nice clean looking shoulder when it goes down so it'll be uh look really nice uh this is a 2018 i don't know if i already told you all that but this is a 2018 that's a shame so but uh mobile suites did tell us that was not plumbing there and that other one we saw was not plumbing they were just access for satellite wires over in that side I think it was even though they got moved over here and then that one was supposed to be the solar so that's a plus so like I said the next thing you'll probably see is all the strips down and we may even you know they want to get the roofing on so you may see that in progress as well so. all right well onward and upward so far we have got all the decking down we showed you all the repairs we got new shoulders those look good buffer strips so we're gonna roll this side this is the driver's side then we're gonna do the passengers. Now we're rolling it down with this big roller right here. I'm gonna go over the whole roof, make sure it's down real tight. We got some tape on here. So when we put the, the gutter, the gutter's up underneath here. We put it on. We don't use butyl. I use uh, an adhesive, an adhesive caulk is what it is, it's an adhesive sealant. But it's white and then we've got black insert trim underneath there which i'd have to peel all that off black just makes a mess so all this has been primed and now what i'm doing is i'm going back over it with the black i don't want to put that in then when i peel that tape up i have a nice straight line all the way down there on some of these it gets a little squirrely and that black it may make a mess and there's a dye in there and it's just you have to keep cleaning it so we got this first one on and then like I said, wait, and then there's one right behind there, and then there's that one, and now I'm putting on the next one. So really there's like three layers. When we put that on, it oozes up, we strike it down, and then after we strike it down, it um, we'll put another layer on it, and then I'm going over it with the black just so it matches everything, because I there's nothing really on here white. So I said, well, we'll go on with the black, but then I had to tape it all up just to make sure, and that's what we're doing now. So once we peel it off, it'll look nice and clean. Our big mobile suites ready to go. We had to pull it out from that other bay. Up. This is our inspection bay because we had to get the satellite all set up. So we had to get it outside. So we've uh, got a couple of good strikes on here. This was where they had all that caulking. I'll tell you, the guy who did this, I think that could have come out better. But you're never going to see it. I'd have to tear it all out. But um, this side's obviously a little smoother. 
and then we taped it off because the black will make a mess. This is all the way down the side here that we had put the tape down because again that black will make a mess. So that looks real clean. And then uh, got a fold here because the way these lay in there you'll end up with a little bubble. So we take and tuck and then I weld it back together. You can see how we got our curves, we got counter flashing in our curves, we got counter flashing in the front so when the water rolls around it'll roll and then just head on out. We got our stands in the back. We've got now what we're doing here is just uh, the customers are here wanting to take it so we're just giving it a quick cleaning. We're going to deliver it all dirty. Skylights all sealed up, fence. That is a satellite that we had to work with to try to get it. Um, you have to get them aligned to make sure they're balanced. So we took it out of that bay, brought it outside, got it fired up so we could align the curb that it sits on. We aligned it so it's perfect with it. That's what we did. That's that's why, again, that's why it's in the inspection bay. So we got our boots here. And these boots that we made for the plumbing, if that cap pops off, well, it's just going to go into the holding tank. Now, speaking of that, I think I already went over it, but we had one here and one on the other corner. When I called uh, Mobile Suites, they said those were just accesses. That's what they put them in for. So now the wine guard that we put in, we got these bolts right here. All, they're fastened down inside. And then if you ever have an issue, all you have to do is undo this, these nuts right here. And then you can go buy a new one and you can drop it on there. It's, it's pretty straightforward and just undo the coax. And the same thing with our, we've got our max airs on here, curbs, everything's all sealed. Air conditioner, same way, everything's all done. So we're ready to go. We got our logo on the back, showing that we got it done. Probably backwards while facing the back. It's RVRI, November 20th. So we do that because we want to see how the roof is performing as uh, they come back for inspections. If we see something that doesn't look right, well, we'll get with the manufacturer and find out why. And it could be anything. It could be if the caulking isn't seated right for some reason, uh, why that may have happened. Any product that we use. So when we do an inspection, we're going to be going over it pretty well. So then uh, all we do is we just take a little tool and we go around on here when we do an inspection just along that edge. Just keep pushing it in there and if it seems like it's loose, sometimes there's some contaminants that get up in there um, or they may be, you know, on the product. You know, they are washed pretty thoroughly, but, you know, again, I don't take things for granted. So I like to let people know how to catch things. Even if it's this here, you know, I've sh showed other guys how to weld and maybe they don't have this seated right. And if they don't, then the, the tool will catch that, and then I can just seat it down. You know, I want to say as tight as I can, but our own welding procedures are a lot different than commercial welding procedures. Most commercial welders, what they're going to do is they're just going to weld that flange right in there, one shot, bring it down. And I've got a double, what I call a double weld system that I do. I do the inside, and then once that's done, then I do the outside. So even if anything did break for whatever reason, that's why I teach everybody if it did then you got this main weld in here holding it so it's not going to leak so other than that I mean, we are done I'll, i'm going to have to go down and go around and show you the the satellite unless we can show you this way that may work that's all uh i mean and that's the only thing that's over on that side is the satellite so but uh other than that we appreciate y'all watching and uh again these are not tutorials they're not diy videos we post them up on here so the customer can see all the work we've done and then, oh, something else we did. See, now this, again, these don't, some of these things don't go in our work order. Um, but again, to show the customer all that we've done, I put a strike up here because it's just so compromised. I would hate for them to call me up and go, Joe, I got a leak, I got a leak. And they bring it back, go, oh, yeah, it was that. And it's right in front of our face. So we ran a bead down around that. We ran a bead around the light, around all the lights in the front, all the lights in the back, around the ladder. And we went around as much as we could. The, uh, the owner knows he, he probably needs to hit this a lick. But uh, we still want to get as much as we can because it doesn't make sense for me to have to come back and say, oh, yeah, that's what it was. And you know, folks come a long way. So, but, um, and I've had that happen. That's why, that's why I've done, that's why I say, hey, you know, then we say, hey, we got a leak. And it wasn't coming from the roof. It was actually coming from a window. So that's why I say, hey, that's anything pretty much we want to seal from our heels up just to make sure. So if you see something, well, it's coming down from there. But, um, well, again, like I said, I appreciate it. Getting back to these not being DIYs, we put them for our customers so they can see all the work we do to them. And because um, they ask us constantly, what'd you find, what'd you find, what'd you find? So uh, just keep that in mind. There's a lot to putting these on. If you get a tip or two, hey, that's great. But I'm going to be honest with you, these are not easy to do. Um, 
I've had a lot of guys that can't hack it in the shop because they just don't know how these things go together or why they go together. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching.